A big part of Procreate's power is how minimalistic the interface is and there's lots of hidden gestures and shortcuts hiding away that are super useful to learn which will save you time. So today I'm going to show you one of my favorite little shortcuts, Quick Menu. So you can open Quick Menu just by holding the square and tapping the screen at the same time and that will open a series of menu shortcuts that you can choose from. And you can set these at anything you like. I'm going to show you how I use mine in a minute, but just so you know where to find it. If your menu doesn't appear in the same way that mine did, you can set what your gesture shortcut is just by coming into the actions panel. So you tap the little spanner icon and then preferences. There's this gesture controls, just tap on that. And then there's quick menu on the left and you can see I've got that activated by the little square and the Apple Pencil. So that works the best for me. You choose what works best for you. There is touch, but I find I've got a grip of my Apple Pencil. I don't wanna be sort of moving it so much. So I've just found that this works best for me, but you can always change yours to whatever you like. I love using quick menu for calligraphy drills because I have to swap between my brush and my eraser quite often. You'll notice the downstrokes have a straight stem. So how I tell my students to do that is to just use the eraser to erase away the top bevel. You'll see when I use the digital brush, it gives a little bevel, but we can just get rid of that by using the eraser. So I'm constantly swapping between my pencil and eraser, and it can wear you out doing that often. So by using quick menu, I just save myself all that energy just by tapping on the screen and then choosing the eraser and then erasing, and then I can tap back to my brush. So it just saves me going to the corner of my interface all the time. And those savings when you're doing a long calligraphy practice are really valuable and they just save you time as well as energy. So when you first discover Quick Menu, you'll find that the settings might be different to what you see I have here. I've actually set that as paint and eraser. So you can change the preferences just by activating it then you hold over it and you can see all the different actions that you can choose from. You can select the layer, you can change the opacity of a layer, you can create a new layer. You've got all these different actions and all of these buttons allow you to change them. So you can set those to whatever you like and you can e even go as far as choosing individual brushes. So if I open this menu, I can just scroll down to select brush and then I've got access to all my brush sets. So I can even put my favorite brush into some of these menus. So then I can just move between the brushes really easily. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know in the comments if you already use Quick Menu, what you have said in the different actions. Thanks and see you next time.